Okay, I ventured out into the uh, area that you just saw in the previous video, and unfortunately I found nothing, and I could not go very far because the grass was just too high. Now, I've just located another one of these paths, and as you can see, I am now walking on it. Of course, I ignored the uh, government sign posted at the beginning of this road that stated that no one is to enter it. And here in the distance, I seem to be coming onto a fence in a soaking-ass rain. Of all times, it decided to rain. It decided to do it right in the middle of this filming. But, as you can see, this fence appears to be extraordinarily old. The path that I'm walking on here is actually very dangerous. I'm a little scared to go much further uh, for fear of copperheads or rattlesnakes because if I get bit out here in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to be having some fucking problems. But um, I don't know if, if I go a little bit further, you might be able to get a clear view of that fence up there. And uh, it's... You know, just an old, rusted-out fence that leads to a small field. And there's really nothing on that field except for uh, an interesting barrier that they built around the edge of the shore as if they didn't want anything to uh, get from the ground into the water. And that is uh, the first suggestion that there is probably a burial site located up there where radioactive waste was probably buried some 45, 35 years ago. And uh, it's a very interesting place to go out to if you can keep from getting arrested and stay out of the rain, as I unfortunately have been unable to do. Um, on this search that I have conducted, unfortunately I've not really come across anything that I expected to come across. Um, earlier I went to one path and I came across some bikers who was riding on it. And I asked them, you know, what is out here? What is out on these roads? And the biker replied to me, he was with his daughter, he said that some of these are actually old burial grounds, but that the radioactive waste has since been removed, and even government officials do not really mind individuals walking on these old abandoned roads. They don't really, you know, throw down about it too much. Um, he told me that they're a little bit more strict about the ones on the right side of the road, but they don't really mind individuals walking on these old abandoned roads. But as you see, because of this barrier, there's no way that I could possibly drive a car out in here, nor would I want to attempt to. But that's pretty much my find, and um, all, that you, all that there is is this old, beat-up, abandoned path and a rusted fence that lies in the distance. And that's actually a lot more than you'll find on a lot of these paths. So, um, I didn't find anything the government didn't want me to find anyway, so... I guess that takes care of it.